There's a lot of things that I want to talk about in this video, and I can't decide on which one I want to do, so I'm going to talk about my least attractive quality about myself, indecisiveness. Also, I have a chicken sandwich. Look at that. How cool is that? And let me show you how I got it. Uh, hit me with one of those rewind things that I did in my last video. You know, like one of those rewind things where Last video that I did like this, where I just went around, vlogged, and just talked about stuff in life, it seemed like you guys really liked it, and it was one of my best performing videos on YouTube, long form, that I've had in a while. And I'm so scared that I'll post this one, and it'll get like 10 views, or I'll post the next one, and it's just gonna drop. So I just got done with the gym. I had the craziest, most intense workout I've ever had in my life today. I came home and I made these shoes. If you guys wanna buy these, they're a uh, size 11. I've worn them before, so if you're into that kind of thing, you wanna like, I don't know, smell my feet and fucking wear them or whatever the weird stuff you guys are into. Whoa, that's actually actual size, really, if I'm being honest. That's kind of what mine looks like. I'm like one of those makeup channels. Oh my gosh. I think that's my favorite thing to do is make cursed TikToks and eat food and like talk about life and shit. Looks like someone fucking pissed all over my face. Honestly, I understand how people get into that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the overalls. Welcome to Chili's. Hey, bro. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't have it anymore. Sheesh is dead. We're done. I haven't eaten a single fucking morsel all day. I'm starving. I had a yogurt cup in a protein bar. So now I'm gonna get some food at this place called Rockbird. I pass this place all the time. I'm always driving by it and I've always wanted to go. So I'm gonna fucking go. And if you don't want me to fucking go, then you could go watch a different fucking video. Thanks, man. I could not decide on what sandwich I wanted. They had a bunch of different sandwich options. They had spicy, they had original, they had all these different things. And I'm like, do I wanna try fries? Maybe I'll never come back here again. I have to try the fries. Oh no, there's an ant in my food. Why are there so many ants at this park? I get like anxious. I get like an uncomfortable amount of anxiety. Like it is frustrating how much decision making is like impacted my life. I can't imagine what woman, what good woman in the world would wanna be with a man who is contemplating, fuck, do I get peach cobbler ice cream or do I get the fucking blueberry muffin? That's something that literally freaks me the fuck out is like, I, I want both. I want peach cobbler and I want blueberry. And guess what? Even if I sampled both of the ice cream flavors, I still don't fucking know because I like them both. I want both of them. I want a scoop of each and consume all of them because I'm a fucking consumption monster. And that goes to my eating disorder stuff, which we'll talk about in a different video. I literally have it as a goal and a habit for this year to be decisive because I think it's a very confident, attractive, I'm gonna fucking say it, alpha male masculine fucking quality. It is. Girls are attracted to, is there a fucking, that was alpha as fuck. <laughs> no, I think there was an ant in my mouth. Not my ant. That'd be disgusting if my ant was in my mouth. Oh my god, there's ants everywhere. This is the chicken sandwich I got. It's called the wok. It has like a sriracha aioli. It's got slaw, cucumbers. Eating fried chicken in the park. Yeah. How many times are you gonna beep your car, bro? The slaw is incredible. If you don't like slaw, then grow the fuck up. There's ants all over me. That's where they went wrong with this sandwich is they used chicken breast, not chicken thigh. Chicken thigh is way better than breast. I don't think I make bad decisions. I think I make pretty good ones, but like the fear of making a bad decision, I think that's the problem. Or no, I think it's the fear of missing out. Ooh, here's a weird one. I used to let decisions be made for me. I've gotten better at this one though. People would like text me like, hey, what are you doing Saturday? Do you wanna do, uh, you wanna watch the Minions movie or Elvis? Beto, Beto. And then I'd be like, oh fuck, I don't know. I wanna see both of them. And I just turn into fucking Courage the Cowardly Dog. I would leave people hanging until 
they made the decision, we're going to Elvis. And then I'd get anxious. Ah, oh, but I want to see the Minions movie too. Oh, I want to see Elvis. Like, uh, uh. Never keep people waiting. Life does not need to be that hard. I made my life so hard for myself. Everything's a choice. I got fries. Whoa, that looks insane. The seasoning on there is incredible. It's kind of like Taco Bell nacho fries. If you use ketchup on your fries, you're a fucking child. I fucking hate when restaurants put ranch and honey mustard or any sauce inside of the container with the food. Oh, let's throw the ranch inside of the fucking pizza, dude. Anyways, let's try their ranch that is a thousand degrees with a french fry. My way of deciding things has boiled down to two simple things. Just keep making decisions and just pick a decision because you're gonna forget about it. It's not that important. You know right from wrong, pick right. Always pick right. Be a good person, do what's right, do what's gonna make you happy. Motherfucking pterodactyl up in this bitch. Yo, you can't just be hanging out here, bro. I'm trying to fucking film, dog. I'm like mad at nature. Like, nature, get out of nature. The breading doesn't have a ton of flavor. So if you eat chicken tenders dry, not only are you an idiot, but you're missing out on a lot of flavor from the sauce. Chicken tender. It's not dry, but it's also not moist. It's hot, but not like too hot to handle. I do want to test my decision-making skills one more time. I've wanted to go to this ice cream shop called Wanderlust. Wanderlust? Wanderlust? I am going to sample all of the flavors still, but I'm going to give myself a small gap of time to make my decision and decide what flavor I'm going to get. I got fucking ants all over me. I could feel them crawling on me. Yeah, can I try your all of your seasonal flavors? Yuzu creamsicle. Uh, I'm gonna do a scoop of this one, and then between Palo Santo and mint chip and baklava. I'm gonna do the... Where's the tasting trio? It's just one more of these. You know what, let me get all three then. This is how I make decisions on ice cream. If you can't get something anywhere else, and also if it's seasonal, limited time, limited edition, then you gotta choose one of those. Honestly, this place is dope. You could get three split scoops. Actually, that's literally what I do at every ice cream place ever. I'm terrible at this. I'm horrible at decisions. What the fuck? I literally failed the test. This is a vegan pandan cone. Pandan? pandan? Orange flower blossom uh, baklava. And then the blue one is Romune flavored. And last but not least, mint chocolate chip. Orange flower baklava something. Not enough pistachios, not enough caramel, and the baklava pieces are kind of weird. I'm gonna try the Romune, baby. I don't fuck with sherbet. That might be the best sherbet I've ever had in my life. Palo Santo mint chip. You already know they fucked up with the chunks of chocolate. They should have done shavings. It tastes like a girl that believes in astrology and has a tapestry in her room. With a little bit of mint. It's like she just brushed her teeth. It's kind of fire. Wanderlust Creamery is approved. Definitely got to go back to try the other flavors. Um, yeah, love you, bye.